Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, a brand new counterattacks coming up next. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here in Washington, D.C., in front of the White House at our nation's capital for this week's episode of The Counterattack. Why here in D.C.? Well, last week was the Team USA Awards and the visit to the White House for all the Rio 2016 Olympians. First, the Team USA Awards, a great event at Georgetown University. The USA women were finalists for Team of the Year. That award went to USA Gymnastics, but USA Water Polo did not come home empty-handed. Adam Krikorian was named Coach of the Games and was called upon to give some remarks, an emotional time for Coach K as he thanked his team, his staff, and others in his life after Team USA brought home gold in Rio. There is no such thing as individual awards. This is not an individual award. I hate to kill the USOC on this, but this is not an individual award. This is a team award. Uh, and obviously, with that in mind, I'd like to thank my team, uh, a group of athletes. You know, I don't get out compliments too, too much. Uh, but they're, to be quite frank, I mean, they're the ones that make us look great. And uh, for this two-week period, they made me and my staff look very, very good, so thank you. My family, uh, as head coaches, uh, families, I think it's well documented, and families uh, sometimes take a back seat. And my wife, Amicia, and my two kids, Jack and Annabelle, uh, for all the love and support. Uh, they provide me with a ton of love and joy throughout my, my career, and I can't thank them enough. And uh, lastly, I, I, I'd like to thank my brother. Uh, who passed away on August 3rd. Uh, he, uh, he was someone that carried himself with a tremendous amount of passion, uh, enthusiasm for life, and displayed so much perseverance in his life, um, and taught me truly how to lead. And I can't thank him enough. I'll miss him. I love you, dude. And thank you, everyone. Before the big event, athletes from both the men's and women's Olympic water polo teams hit the red carpet. Some photos here. We also had a Facebook live chat with Maggie Steffens and with Coach Krikorian. Some of their thoughts on being involved in the big award ceremony for Team USA. It's very exciting. You can hear the energy. There's lots of fans here, which is so fun. But it's the first time our team has fully been back together since Rio. So we're just excited to see each other and, and be here. Uh, who else are you looking forward to seeing tonight outside of your teammates? Is that, is that cool people here and um, the Paralympians just got back from Rio so I'm really excited to hear their stories and um, congratulate them and all of them are wearing their medals so just pretty much everyone. Uh, we're back here at the Team USA Awards. Here he is, Coach Adam Krikorian for the USA Women. Coach, uh, what's it like to be, a, to be at one of these events and have your whole team back together for the first time since Rio? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a really cool thing, right? It's just getting a chance to kind of get back together. Um, I mean, this is a great event and all. I mean, we're walking, we're actually walking on red carpet here. Yeah, there's, I, a, there's a red carpet here. I've, yeah. I've never walked on red carpet before. <laughs> um, uh, but the, the neatest thing is, again, just getting everyone back together again and uh, just kind of reminiscing and enjoying each other's company. And it should be a great night. It's Anytime you get the world's best athletes all in one, one place, uh, I would say it's pretty cool. After the award show, the next morning all the athletes were up early to go to the White House to visit with President Obama, First Lady Michelle Obama, and Vice President Joe Biden. They got to shake hands, meet and greet, and then they were addressed by the President, who offered some great words of encouragement to perhaps future Olympic athletes all across the country. Remember that you know when somebody's watching you for the first time and they see how hard you work and what you accomplish, and they feel inspired. They feel like they can take any challenge on. Uh, you know, what you do has ripples all across the country. Uh, imagine what it means for a young girl or a young boy who sees somebody who looks like them doing something and being the best at what they do. Uh, and that's one of the most extraordinary things about our Olympic team. There's, there's no kid in America who can't look at our Olympic team and see themselves somewhere. It's really exciting. We've been waiting quite some time to get here. team back together for the first time since Rio. What's that been like to be here at the White House? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been awesome. It's hard to get us all in the same place at the same time. And, um, it's been great just rekindling and thinking of old memories and stuff like that. So it's been awesome.
Last week on the show, we took you to Brooklyn Heights for the taping of a segment with the Today Show. Well, that aired this week, airing yesterday morning. Chanel Jones having some fun in the water with Team USA and a special gift for Al Roker. Check out some of the fun here from NBC's Today Show. Looks like a little old lady. Okay, so Leslie Jones had her robe, so I said, okay, now this Jones nice. uh, gets a robe. First of all, our thanks to the gold medal women, our winning U.S. women's water polo team, and to St. Francis College in Brooklyn, where we filmed. They have a gift for you. They're all watching this morning. This is the first one. Oh. <laughs> Show your friends at home. There you go. And if you're a little modest... <laughs> You can wear this on top. Oh, that's now that's there more you my go. speed. Thank you, ladies. I will wear this there you go. with pride. Thank you for letting so, me do this. Thank this was you. Fun. And now we turn our attention to men's college water polo and the college game. Lots of action this past weekend. Let's get you caught up with some key scores and results. And first up in men's college water polo, we start with highlights back to that same pool in Brooklyn Heights where unranked St. Francis knocked off number eight Harvard 10-7. Sophomores Bogdan Kostic and Botan Kadar each scored three goals in the victory for the Terriers, knocking off the ranked Crimson. From there, other scores around the country. Pacific one goal better than Pepperdine, 9-8 in overtime. Fresno Pacific topping Chapman, 14-8. Back to the East Coast, Brown over Iona, 11-9. And Cal Baptist defeating Whittier, 18-7. UCLA remains undefeated at number one in the country. And now from the college ranks, we go to high school water polo, one of the best matchups in the country. The Battle of the Bay is what they call it in Orange County. Corona Del Mar High School taking on Newport Harbor. The go-ahead goal here in overtime from CDM's Will Radoski. The Sea Kings go on to win it 8-6, to six, the video here courtesy of Dan Albano and the OC Register. Will Radoski scores. Number 7, Will Radoski takes the lead for CDM. 7 and last but not least, some water polo Olympians you probably know. Heather Petrie, Anna Kadriz, Erica Lorenz all have won medals for Team USA in the water polo pool. Well, they took part in a swim in the San Francisco Bay for Swim Across America, helping to raise money for cancer research. Always a great cause. Heather Petrie has been a huge part of this organization since her retirement from water polo following London 2012. K-Ron 4 in San Francisco was there to cover it and caught up with Pete. Tangible. I'm a water polo player, so we get to take this to the hospital. The patients that we see get to sign it. Anyone we're uh, swimming in honor of or for who have passed are on this ball, and we hope one day that this ball is empty. There's no one on it, there's no one fighting cancer, and we've helped get rid of it. The event organizers expected to raise more than $600,000 to fight cancer. And now we close out the show as we do every week with our social media send off the best of what we found on the internet. Don't forget you can take part, use the hashtag counterattack and tag us at USAWP. First up, Connecticut College sharing this via their water polo Twitter account. Some good fun holding some ODP training. Great to see those camps and clinics happening all around the country. We told you about those water polo Olympians taking part in the big swim in San Francisco. Wetsuits for most and get pretty chilly there in the Bay. Good photo here from Heather Petrie's Twitter account. And now to USC. Many colleges doing this, honoring their Olympians from Rio 2016. Water polo players Cammie Craig and Kelly Gilchrist, one of the fastest in the game. Allison Felix, all posing for a photo here at the Coliseum in a recent football game. And then from there, this past weekend at Fashion Island, 2XU, hosting a meet and greet with members of the women's Olympic water polo team. Mel Seidemann meeting with some young fans here, as David Espinoza shared on his Twitter account. Back to the White House we go. They have a lot of time to wait before you get to meet the president. You got to clear security. They got to do all the lineups, take photos, make sure everyone gets to shake the president's hand. In the meantime, you take some pictures. Here's a group shot here from the athletes at the White House waiting for their turn. Then back to the Team USA Awards. Maggie Steffens with the squad and the coach of the games. Thankful to have Adam Krikorian lead their team. So Princeton Tigers getting together with the Team USA Awards. John Thompson the third went to Princeton, now the head basketball coach at Georgetown, hanging out with a current Princeton student athlete in Ashley Johnson. Out to the red carpet were John Mann and Alex Obert looking pretty dapper. This is via John Mann's Instagram account. Courtney Matthewson shares an inside look at the Team USA Awards. How about this? The squad in the front row for the annual awards event. Men's water polo assistant coach Jack Coger sharing his experience at the Team USA Awards at Georgetown. Coach of the games, it went to Coach K, but he's the first to tweet out that those awards, well, they really are a group award. There's no such thing as an individual award, according to Coach K. He wants to honor the entire group, coach, athletes, and staff. And then one final shot from Washington, D.C. Sammy Hill showing off her Olympic ring with some pretty cool background material. That's the Lincoln Memorial. 
That'll do it for this week's episode. Thanks for joining us from Washington, D.C. And don't forget, even in the nation's capital, when you're on the counterattack, look weak side.